up my Bernie, 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 Bernie hat. Oh, damn, fucking. Took down my, took down my Bernie hat for this one. Bernie hat, right? I've worn the uh, Make America Great Again hat many times. Now Bernie gets his, Bernie 2020 gets his moment. Oh, damn. It's fucking, this shit is burning. Bernie, feeling the burn, right? Feeling the burn. So, I want to uh, <clears throat> do a little, a little compare and contrast with our two potential candidates. The Bernie Sanders 2016 revival has revived. And the Donald, the Donald running to defend his title of president of the United States, right? So I want to play, uh, I think, the, I'm not going to play all of the videos of all their campaign stands but I, I watched it being at the uh, Brooklyn rally the other day. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to what Bernie was saying. I was more interested in the crowd, and I always and I imagined that I would listen to it after the event, so that you can hear it. It's not cold. I mean, I heard it, but I wasn't really listening. <laughs> but now I've heard it, and and um, I think the most startling thing. I'll, I mean, his his. I'll read off what Bernie stands for and what Trump stands for, but. The most startling thing was background, where Bernie Sanders told you where he was from and who he is and 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 what makes him tick. I thought that was very compelling, you know, and uh, I think it's his, it's a strength going into a new campaign, you know, all right, good. The elections are not uh, the elections are rigged, right? Okay, everything's rigged. Everything's a fucking rig and, and everything is stacked against the American people. I know, I know. But if you have a figurehead, the, the point of the arrow at the top, telling the people, voicing the people's opinion, it does have an effect. Right? So if, if, in fact, Sanders is elected, it, in, my, in my view, it's a better opinion to ha have at the top of the uh, top. Of the all right, so Bernie Sanders, income and wealth inequality, Medicare for all, free college tuition at city and state universities, get money out of politics, tax large corporations and billionaires, pivot to green energy. Uh, that makes sense, right? Solar and, and wind. Uh, workers' rights, civil rights, voters' rights, get money out of the military industrial complex. That's just, just to name a few. What, what's Trump? Trump, drain the swamp, lock her up. He's going to build a wall, tax breaks for the billionaires and trillionaires and, and the, corp, the large corporations. Drill, baby, drill. Eh, no health care. Nothing. We're going to get something much better than Obamacare. Uh, more war money. He's jacking up to $700 billion already. Right? More j jail money. Right? And we're going, to, we're going to hear from both candidates in their own words. Uh, expansionism, globalism, knock off Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cuba. Right. So let's hear let's hear Bernie in his own words. This is rather rather spectacular. If I might take a moment as I return here to the area that I was born, let me say a few personal words. As we launch this campaign for president, you deserve to know where I came from because family history obviously heavily influences the values that we develop as adults. I was born literally a few miles away from here on East 26th Street in Kings Highway. And my family and I lived in a three-and-a-half-room, rent-controlled apartment. My father was a paint salesman who worked hard his entire life, but never made much money. And my mother raised my brother and me. I learned a great deal about immigration as a child because my father came from Poland at the age of 17, without a nickel in his pocket, without knowing one word of English. He came to the United States to escape the crushing poverty 
that existed in his community and to escape widespread anti-Semitism. And it was a good thing that he came to this country because virtually his entire family was wiped out by Hitler and Nazi barbarism. I am not going to tell you that I grew up in a home of desperate poverty. That would not be true. But what I will tell you is that coming from a lower middle class family, I will never forget about how money, or really lack of money, was always a point of stress in our family. My mother's dream was that someday our family would move out of that rent-controlled apartment to a home of our own. That dream was never fulfilled. She died young while we still lived in that rent-controlled apartment. My experience as a child living in a family that struggled economically powerfully influenced my life and my values. I know where I came from. And that it's powerful, right? He's, it's, just, it's just riveting that he's a regular person. He's telling you who he is. It's something I will never forget. Unlike Donald Trump, who shut down the government and left 800,000 federal employees without income to pay their bills, I know what it's like to be in a family that lives paycheck to paycheck. Now it is true, I did not have a father who gave me millions of dollars to build luxury skyscrapers, casinos and country clubs. I did not come from a family that gave me a $200,000 allowance every year beginning at the age of three. As I recall, my allowance was 25 cents a week. Right? So, so there's Bernie. We gave him his. We gave him his three minutes of fame. Right. So Bernie Sanders is one of us. He's a regular ninety nine. He was a ninety nine percenter. Okay. Yeah. He went on to Senate, and he made a living. He was a mayor. He he did well for himself. Right. Everybody wants to say, "Oh, fucking Bernie. He's got three houses." No. In in Congress, you have to have a house. You have to own, You have to have a residence in Washington D.C. Guy's been there for. For 20 years, he bought a house, right? He's got to have a residency in D.C. He's, here, he's there three, three quarters of his life. He's got to have residency in, in Vermont. His house, right? So he's got a house and a house. And, oh, he bought, oh, the old man bought a summer home, 700 grand in Connecticut. Oh, he should be condemned. He's a, it's bullshit, right? So he's, that's no reason. So let's look at the Donald. The Donald. Where is the Donald? Oh shit, I erased it. Damn, fucking. Oh shit. Stand by one second. Stand by one second. I gotta find my shit, man. I gotta find my shit. God, I fucking just erased the. I just erased the. Uh, the. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. So here's his Trump. Speak China all the time. When was the last time you saw a Chevrolet in Tokyo? When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. The big lie, Obamacare. Five billion we spent on a website. I hire people. They do a website. It costs me $3. Are you running? Are you not running? I am officially running for president of the United States. We need a leader that wrote the art of the deal. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Free trade can be wonderful if you have 
smart people. But we have people that are stupid. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. They have bridges that make the George Washington Bridge look like small potatoes. I don't need anybody's money. It's nice. I'm really rich. I love the Saudis. Many are in this building. Obama. I love the Saudis. Many are in this building. Uh, a year ago, Yemen was a great victory. A great... Two weeks later, the place was blown up. We're dying. We're dying. We need money. Thank you, darling. But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice. That's true. But actually, I am. I think I am a nice person. We have losers. We have losers. I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. We won't be using a man like Secretary Kerry he goes into a bicycle race at 72 years old and falls and breaks his leg. I won't be doing that. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, so powerful, I beat right? China so how much all of the it? Time. <laughs> how much of it is true? How much of it is fiction? So you heard our two contestants, the the Bernie Sanders, the Bernie Sanders, the old man who can't win, the socialist, and and the businessman, the the wealthy, grew up with a spoon in his mouth, two hundred grand uh, a month. Uh, 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 his family gave him what was it a. Uh, Okay, what do you call that, man? Uh, an allowance. At, it, Trump grew up a 200 grand allowance. Look, if Bernie Sanders says it, he's, he probably did a little research to figure it out to see if it's true. So, so there you go, two contents, contestants. Who's, who's, who, who's, in, who's in the best interest? How much of, first of all, how much did Trump got his chance as president? How much of what he said transpired? How much of it? Like little or nothing. How many jobs? I'm going to be the greatest job creator god has ever created what jobs the rust belt is the same there's no manufacturing you gave all the billionaires all their all their tax breaks they took the money they ran right come on come on and so who's who's the better voice so far going in right uh, sanders got some cleaning up to do he's got to maybe evolve a little bit on immigration stop touting you know take away everybody's guns uh, you know, the Russia, Russia, Russia did it. You know, get off of all that. But uh, essentially, based on just policy, sh strict policy, and the integrity of who the man is and where he comes from, who's the better leader so far? You know, I, I don't know. I think Sanders is clearly the, uh, in my view, he's the Democratic. He's not only the Democratic front runner, but if uh, placed uh, side by side with Trump in a debate, He's the favorite. Right? People will see, clearly see through the muck, right? And, and and there's no, I don't think there's any Democratic candidate that could go toe to toe with Trump. But I think Sanders can, will, because Sanders is is grounded in the truth. He is who he is. There's no mistake, and you could call him a commie little socialist and crazy Bernie five hundred times right to his face. It's not going to change anything of what he says so um you know based on this little analysis i think that i think that um integrity and um uh roots the roots of where you're from uh is in bernie sanders favor marcus conti reporting